What's up everyone? I'm Kona Panis with Team Dynamic Discs and I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. To start off, I'm gonna go with the putters. Right now my primary putters are the classic hard EMAC judges. Um, I personally love a putter that doesn't have a lot of give, so these are pretty stiff. I have my sweet Lord eyes on top and I'm personally uh, putting with a straddle putt right now and these are just working. Um, when I'm inside the circle, I have a little bit of hyzer to my putt and I'm always hitting that right side chain and then as I get outside, I'm aiming a little bit higher on that headband, a little bit more right and these guys just dive perfectly into the basket for me. Really loving these for my primary putter. Now onto my throwing putters. I have two putters that I really rely on for my backhand approaches and these are the Classic Hybrid Deputy. This is my hyzer flip putter. This is something that I can hit hard on a hyzer, have it pop up flat, if not even ride right. This is one that is super reliable to me when I need something to flip up. And if you're looking for a putter that can hyzer flip, I recommend the Deputy. For my other backhand approach disc, I am loving the Lucid Emac Judge. This was actually gifted to me by the Emac himself, uh, shout out to him for giving me a few of these along with some uh, Emac truths. But this is more overstable than my deputy. I can trust to throw it harder, maybe get a little bit of a pop up, but it's always gonna have that little fade at the end that I can always trust. And I love it in the Lucid Classic because I have my regular putters in that Classic hard. So it's a similar feeling. For my forehand approaches, I'm loving the harp. This is something that I put in the bag as soon as I felt it because I love throwing the forehand approaches. Um, so I have one in the tournament heart, in the tournament plastic with my Warrior Sun Dimax. Make sure to go check those out. This is actually one of my favorite stamps of all time that I've ever come up with and uh, there's actually going to be an evolution of it, so stay tuned. Um, but I love the tournament harp because it's starting to get beat in and it's flying a little bit straighter, which I'm loving. So when I need a little bit more distance that maybe the glow harp can't get, I'm reaching for the tournament plastic harp. For the disc I'm throwing more than anything on my forehand approaches, it's gonna be Ricky's uh, glow harp. It's super beefy and what I have found personally between the tournament harp and the glow harp is that this one flies a little bit slower. It doesn't get as much distance. Um, it doesn't come out of my hand as fast and uh, it's very reliable. I can trust it in some headwind on backhand and forehand, but I'm really loving it for just those touch, little flick of the wrist approaches. On to my mid-ranges. So, one of the first discs that I got from Denise Cameron welcoming me to the Trilogy team was the Opto Fuse. So this is, this is when I was starting to find discs that were super neutral. I needed a mid-range that just went super straight, maybe had a little bit of a right turn, and that's exactly what the Fuse is for me. Um, it's something that I can truly trust in the woods to put on a tiny bit of hyzer. It's gonna ride straight, maybe get a little bit of a right turn, but I'm loving the Fuse for those super glidey straight shots. Next is my Fusion Truth. I actually uh, got the one from the PDGA membership this year. I loved the design and um, it was really cool to see them use the Truths as the disc to give away to members, so I had to get one. Um, this has actually become one of my favorite Truths I've ever tried. It's something that I can put on a tiny bit of hyzer and this thing pops up and it glides forever, maybe even more than the fuse at some time. So I feel like it's almost like a step down from a fairway driver. I can throw it hard and it feels like it goes so far. Um, and also, like I keep saying, I love the Fusion Plastic. So love the Fusion Truth. For windier situations or if I need to throw something flat and trust it to get left, that's gonna be my Lucid Verdict. Uh, I love the feel of this one. I'm not one for a ton of bead, so I love the feel of the Verdict itself and the Lucid Plastic for me, I feel like just makes it a little bit more overstable. Um, the Verdict is one that I've come to love when I need to trust a mid-range to get left, especially in windier situations. Uh, this is one that I've tested on some forehand approaches, still practicing those to get the touchdown and get the right flight out of it. Definitely love the verdict for some overstable mid-range shots. Now when we're talking 
beefy mid-ranges, I instantly think about the Justice. This is my Glimmer uh, Justice. I have never experienced a mid-range quite like it. It is super overstable. Uh, when I first started throwing it, it was like, oh my gosh, why do I need this in the bag? And then we got to Vegas, and then we got to Waco, Belton, and this thing is amazing in the wind. Um, also, for those super controlled shots when I don't want to throw super far, I'm reaching for the Justice because it's so overstable, it's not going to go past the distance that you want. So, uh, this is actually um, a stamp that I first released when, on my announcement day, so this particular disc is special to me. But when I need something overstable, grabbing the Justice, I love it for forehand approaches or super windy backhand approaches. I have my Lucid Maverick. This is the most understable uh, fairway driver I have in the bag. Um, I love it because in the wooded situations, like in Texas States, I throw it on a little bit of a hyzer and it pops up and rides right. So I can always trust this one to pop up, ride right, um, and not get a ton of distance, but just enough. Onto my other Lucid Maverick, this one is a little bit more reliable in the sense that it won't flip up super hard. For me, it just flips up flat, rides super straight. So this one I am loving, it's one of my favorites. Uh, love the Kona stamp on top. Uh, shout out to Dynamic Discs for doing a run of these. That was super thoughtful and they came out with some sick designs. Um, but this is one I'm, I'm loving a lot in the woods or in the wide open when I need something to go dead straight up to 300 and like 30 feet. The last Maverick in the bag is a Fusion X Maverick. This is actually Zach Melton's signature disc, I believe, from last year. Um, I'm loving the Fusion plastic, and this one is one I can put on a flat angle. It'll ride straight. It won't flip up on me unless there's maybe a little bit of a headwind. Um, but it has that fade just at the end. For me, it's perfect for that seven speed when I want something to go straight and have a little bit of fade, but not as much as my Evader. This thing has a little bit of a dome. I love it. This was actually the first disc that Emac brought to me as I got off the plane to come to the Dynamic Discs warehouse um, in Emporia. Uh, he handed it to me and I was like, sheesh. Uh, I love the Glimmer plastic. It's beautiful. And uh, this was actually my first experience with my logo on the Dynamax. So that was something special. I am loving this disc in more headwind situations or if I'm in the woods and I need to throw something flat and trust it to get left. It's pretty overstable, but um, I'm loving it for those type of situations. For my nine speed fairway drivers, I'm pretty simple. I have my Fusion Vandal. This is my pretty understable disc. I'm throwing this thing flat. It's flipping up and it's riding a little bit right. This one in particular, it's kind of a freak because I've beaten it in a decent amount and it still isn't flipping over a ton. It still has that super straight flight with maybe a little bit of a ride, a right ride. This is actually one of my favorite dye discs in the bag. It has the hot cocoa combo, lore combo ring around the edges. This is just, it took so much time to do. Lore people hit it out of the park and then we got the lore on the back. Absolute favorite in the bag. Um, and then, I have my Fusion Escape. So this is very similar to my Vandal, but the reason I like it personally is because the Vandal will start to flip right, um, where the Escape will be more straight and have a little bit of a left fade to it. Um, but I do trust this one on a hyzer flip angle. It's just not as flippy as the Vandal. And like I said before, um, this is one that I fell in love with at the very start. distance drivers. The understable distance drivers I have in the bag at this current moment are the Royal Grace. Although it is an 11 speed, this thing is one of my farthest throwers in the bag. I don't throw this into many headwinds. If anything, it's a disc that I throw in the tailwind a lot or in no wind at all when I need a ton of distance. Um, love the Royal Plastic and it's just one that I've come to love. By the way, all of these are usually, all my drivers are usually in a 169 to 171. I don't throw a ton of max weight, 
but in some of my distance drivers, they will be in those higher weights to help with uh, the stability and the trust in the wind. But next is my Lucid Trespass. I love this one for hyzer flip shots. This is very understable, one of my most understable discs in the bag. So I can trust this one in a tailwind, very similar to my Royal Grace, but maybe when I need a little bit more turn. Next is my Lucid X Trespass. Unlike my Lucid Trespass, uh, this one I can trust more in the wind and this one has more fade at the end. So I can trust this on a flat angle and it's gonna come out left or if there's a little bit of a headwind, I'm putting it on some hyzer, it's popping up flat and then it has that short fade at the end. Um, this is actually one of my favorite lore dies as well. It's icy, really pretty, um, very clean but um, I'm also loving this for forehand shots. Um, it's pretty understable, so on my forehand, because it has torque. So I put on a little bit of hyzer, pops up flat, and then it has a little bit of a give at the end. Next is my Lucid X Sheriff. Uh, I got these from The Page Shoe, shout out to Paige. I love this stamp, it has that mustache. It's quite hilarious. I wanna say this is heavy. I wanna say it's a 174 gram. Um, and this is a disc I can trust a lot in, to trust in a little bit of a headwind, but also if I want some max distance, but with a reliable fade at the end. Um, this is something that I can throw flat or with a tiny bit of hyzer, it's gonna pop up flat. It's not gonna get a little ride right, it's not gonna ride right at all, but it will have that nice fade at the end that I can always trust. So this is one that I've been relying on a lot. Now for my more overstable distance drivers where I can still get distance, but I'm going to always have that reliable fade and that trust in the wind. Uh, to start is my Lucid Sparkle Defender. I actually got this from James Bell, one of our favorite hosts on the road in Belton, Texas. I was looking for some overstable stuff and he gave me one of his old DGPT discs. Absolutely love it and it's one that I've come to trust in more windy situations. This is one I can put on a hyzer, it's gonna get left. So I really have to put it on either a flat angle or even on a little bit of Anheuser to get a true long flight out of it. But this is one I always reach for in the, in the headwind situations. Or if I wanna throw a forehand that's super overstable. Now a step up from my Defender when I'm feeling a little nervous about the wind, maybe it's super headwindy and I just don't think that the Defender will quite handle it. I'm reaching for my Ricky, a little bit of a pop toppy, Lucid Enforcer. This thing is so overstable. I think it's my most overstable distance driver in the bag where I can still get distance, but no, it's gonna get left. Um, I'm really loving this one for super overstable forehand approaches. And um, it's just, it's beefcake. So it's very trusty and uh, you know, shout out Rick. Lastly, we're gonna get into my more most overstable discs in the bag and the ones I usually throw on forehand. So to start out, I needed to replace a disc in my bag that I had before that was like an in-between, a fairway and a distance driver and was super overstable that I could trust on a forehand flex. And that just so happened to be the Page Shoe Sergeant, Fusion X Sergeant. This thing's very overstable. When I first threw it, I threw it backhand and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't need this. And then we, I started finding more discs for my bag and it's one that I throw a lot um, on forehand. I like to throw it on forehand because it doesn't have a huge rim, so it's more comfortable for my hands. And this Sargent is just so overstable that I can trust it on that flex angle, the Anheuser angle, and it's always gonna come out. I actually threw this during a doubles round with Ricky for a Jomez video, so make sure to stay tuned to that. I threw this, absolutely parked a hole, so that came in clutch during that shot. Uh, next is one of my favorite forehand discs, the Orbit Felon. This is Ricky's Orbit Felon with a sick, fiery red lore die on top. Um, I just absolutely love this disc for forehand. I was thinking it was gonna be very overstable, but the Orbit plastic is actually pretty neutral in comparison to like a, you know, a lucid plastic for a felon. And so I feel like I can actually get some great flight out of this disc and it always has that reliable fade. So 
really loving this one for some flex or if not flat forehands to get some some distance and then some fade around like 300 feet. It's still overstable. Next is the beefiest thing in my bag. This is my Lucid Felon. This only comes out when it's super windy or if I wanna do a super knife Anheuser angle and wanting it to pan out uh, right. So this is one that I use in some tricky, you know, step out situations when I wanna put on an Anheuser and have it flex out. Uh, more of a utility disc, but it's always good to have these kind of discs in the bag. So those are the discs I have in my bag. Um, of course, like everyone has all these other kind of other kind of things they have in their bag. I personally always have my Bushnell Edge Range Finder. I use this thing so much, not only for drives, but also for my approaches. Um, I'm not using it for putts. Usually we have our circle drawn out, but I'm loving it for my approaches more than anything because learning a new bag, I've had to figure out how far some of my discs go. So having my range finder, going to the field, knowing how far those discs go, and then bringing it into tournament play has been super useful. And then also I just always, always, always have a mini. I mark my disc every single time. I have my little lore dyed judge mini with my Kona stamp on the back. Always gotta have those. So that's what's in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this little in the bag session. Stay tuned for all the other trilogy in the bags and let me know uh, what discs you're liking that I'm throwing.